as a woman working in a male-dominated field, it can be extremely rewarding, right? Mm -hmm. Many technology and industry-driven corporations are seeking to increase diversity in the workforce, particularly among their management ranks. Yeah, and for some reason, working with mostly male counterparts can be kind of intimidating, and sometimes there's that friction in the air when you work in a male-dominated field. <laughs> yes, but, you know, sometimes there's also that resentment, you know, from men of their female colleagues and vice mm -hmm. versa. So joining us today with some solutions are Roxanne Rivera Wiest and Roxanne is president of Associated Builders and Contractors of New Mexico and ABC Marketing Director BJ Rains. Good morning women. Thank Hi, you for being morning. with us. Good morning. Looking lovely by the way. Thank oh, you. Love that butterfly. Oh, I have to say that. Now <laughs> I have to talk first about Roxanne, okay? You owned a successful construction company. I love saying this. For nearly 25 years and we know that construction is definitely a male dominated field. Oh, yeah. I mean when you think of construction you think of boys. So <laughs> How did you choose to be a part of construction in your career path? How did that even come about and how could women, you know, find their place in an industry like this? How has that evolved over all these years? Well, I started my company in 1981 Okay. and I had just gotten out of college. My degree was in communications and marketing. Mm -hmm. And in my naivete, I thought I could market anything. So I mm -hmm. thought, well, why not construction? But when I started my construction company in 1981, it was very much a good old boys network uh -huh. in New Mexico. There were not I very bet. many construction companies owned by women. So mm -hmm. I sort of learned by the seat of my pants. Mm -hmm. And for the next 25 years, I made mistakes. I did some things correct. It's the only way but to learn. Mm -hmm. I learned that there were different strategies that you had to employ mm -hmm. in terms terms of working with in an industry that's dominated by men. Mm -hmm. and done so in a great way too. And it was it was it tough? It was times? tough. It was tough. Um, I had uh, contractors used to call and ask to speak to the boss, and I'd say, well, I am the boss, and they'd say, well, then I'd like to speak to the other boss, <laughs> well, <laughs> meaning they wanted to talk to oh. a man. Wow. Yeah. Now, how has your marketing strategy changed to attract more women to, to this? Well, one of the things that we're doing is holding the Women's Leadership Forum, which is mm -hmm. on September 22nd, yes. and it's really targeted towards women who work in male-dominated industries, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that can be architecture, engineering, banking, construction, you name it. Uh, it's an in, There's lots of industries where women have finally gotten into. So, mm -hmm. so we're looking, we thought that the women who worked in this, these industries were kind of a neglected demographic. Sure. So that's one of the reasons why we put this leadership forum together. So that's one of the ways we've changed. And, and what have you been hearing from women that were kind of leading you up to this point where you decided to host the forum? What were you hearing from other women? Well, there are a lot of things that I think women who have worked in male-dominated in industries mm -hmm. have stories. Everybody has stories no about doubt. how they've they've worked with men before and how we can share those stories with other women. And there are a lot of younger women coming into the workforce and they need to know some of the ideas and some of the ways that they can work better with men. So yeah. that's what we're going to try to do is be a resource and give information to people as to how they can work better with men, work Great. better with intergenerational right. communications like how does a 20 year old talk to a 40 year old right. how does yeah. a 40 year old talk to a 60 year old yeah we're all like great. all totally different wavelengths such you know, a good exactly so. and then you throw men mm -hmm. into the mix mm -hmm. So we I think feel that's that, a great thing you're doing. Yeah, that. we think this is going to be great fun to, to do this and have all kinds of breakout sessions and keynote speakers to talk about mm. what these issues are in the workplace. Yes, mm -hmm. I mean, intergenerational and then talking from different genders. I mean, everybody communicates differently, and we want to learn how to communicate more effectively with our coworkers, whether they're the opposite sex, whether they're a different age. It doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. One way or the other, Absolutely. we need that effective communication. Absolutely. It's number one. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Now, yeah. you're also we're talking about social skills, and I, and I think that comes into play, especially with uh, folks and workers of different ages. Now, how can we learn to relate to each other? Do you have any tips? Can you yes. give us like a anything? Give us a little tease of what yeah. we can learn. <laughs> me. Um, well, let's see. You know what? There are basics that I think a lot of people in the incoming generation don't really know a lot of basics that right. you have five seconds 
to make a first impression. That's all right. And a lot of that can be on how you shake somebody's hand, if you look them in the eye. Mm -hmm. um, just little things right. that perhaps how we don't hear. How you hand them your business card. Mm -hmm. Really? Even that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Interesting. I like that. And actually, believe it or not, a few brave guys agreed to tell us how they relate to women in the workplace, too. Do you have any clue of what we're going to be hearing from these men in the forum? Well, the reason we decided to have an all-male panel uh -huh. is because last year, after our first forum, we had men coming up to us saying, you know, we need to know how to talk to women. I like that. We want to know what's going on. So Good. we thought, okay, this year we're going to have an all-male panel, uh, and we have several local celebrities, several ABC members who are contractors on the panel, and women are going to have a chance to just ask the questions. That's great. And in return, be asked questions by the guys. I like well, that. I know um, Deanna Salceda, she's our news anchor on our sister station KRQE, she's mm -hmm. going to be moderator. Uh, what about the guest speakers? Can you tell us about some of those? Well, I traveled to Bermuda last Ooh. September to talk to businesswomen on the island of Bermuda, and okay. believe it or not, the glass ceiling on the island of Bermuda is about this high. Wow. It is very much a patriarchal society, and women can only get so far, mm -hmm. and they're highly educated, very beautiful women, mm -hmm. but they can't advance beyond a certain stage. Mm -hmm. One of the women I met, her name is Kendari Burgess. She owns a crisis communications firm, so she has been able to break through that glass ceiling oh, great. and own her own business on the island of Bermuda and she's coming out to be our, our lunch keynote. Great, so we're very great excited example about of that. a woman who made it happen and, mm -hmm. and then I think that's the whole goal and I know a lot of people watching right now are saying how can I get involved in this? How do I register? Mm -hmm. So let's tell our viewers just how they can do that. They can register at abcwlf.org. Okay. And Great. There's the information right there on the screen. Or they can call 830-4222, but we, it's really easier just to go to the website. There's mm -hmm. lots of detailed information, Definitely. and that's abcwlf.org. Fabulous. Wow. I mean, honestly, Roxanne, VJ, this is great. As as women in the workforce, we appreciate what we you're do. doing. <laughs> well, thank you very thank much. You. Thank We're you looking so forward much. to it. Thank you for having yes, us. Yes, and tons of luck with this. I thank hope you. it brings a lot more uh, uh, effective communication to all the women out there. Love great. that. Thanks. Now, stick around for this. We've got some more coming up. The gates at the New Mexico State Fair swing open this Friday, and there is something spectacular around every single corner.